Hi friends, this is Starcase from Let's Make Learning Simple Channel. Now we are going to see what is an asset and how asset can be used in Java using real-time examples. So before going to that, we will see asset technical detail. Asset implements set and then it extends abstract set. So since it is implementing set, so it, asset is one of the set implemented classes. So the set functionalities would be present in the asset also. So asset doesn't maintain order. Here I am trying to add Rakesh, Lenin, Rakesh and Raja. So if suppose if we execute this code, what we will see is Raja, Lenin, Rakesh. The reason behind here is first I have added Rakesh but Rakesh has been at the last. Here asset doesn't maintain any instruction order. Elements are added some other logic. So insertion order doesn't maintain in as So how elements are getting added? Elements are getting added using as mechanism. So for example, if you suppose if you had a case, as mechanism would give some as code. So at that as code or bucket index, this raw case would be added. Similarly for learning, the dashing mechanism would give some as code at that bucket, then elements gets added. So then we go to the next point as it contains unique elements only. Here I am trying to add our case at the first element and they are also at the third time, third position. So what we are trying to do is well, if you try to run this code, you would see our case at only one time. So the basic mechanism or basic principle of set is it doesn't maintain duplication. So it contains only unique values. So here also in the asset also it maintains the same thing. It maintains unique values. And then what we are trying to do is we are trying to list out the difference between the list and set. You suppose if you have been watch the list videos, the array list, link list, please go and watch those videos and then come to list and then come to set. The major difference between list and set is list can allow the duplicate elements, but a set doesn't allow duplicate. So for example, if suppose if you are trying to add 1, 2, 3, 4, the same thing, Rakesh, Lenin, Rakesh, Raja. In this, you would see Rakesh would be present at two positions, whereas in state, it doesn't allow them. It, may, it allows only one entry. It, even if you add a sec, even if you add a second or third time, it doesn't consider at all. Since the element is already present, it won't add it once again. And then what we are trying to do is we are trying to check whether our case in lower case data is present or not. If suppose if it's run the data, if you run the code, our case, the smaller case, our case is not present in asset. And then what we have done is we have using his empty. Since this set has some data, his yeah, empty returns false, so it is statement won't be executed. This statement would be executed, so it is not empty. Set is not empty, and then we have used iterator. Iterator is used to iterate each element present in this set object. Here, Raja, Lenin, Lenin, and Rakesh. So what iterator does is first it points to this element, and then it points to this, and then it points to this. So we can easily access each element data. So the syntax for that is I need to give hash here object dot iterator it returns the iterator object using the iterator object you can use the looping condition looping for accessing each element iterator dot as next checks whether the uh, element is present or not the next element is present or not if suppose the next element present it returns to else it returns false and then what we have done is iterator dot next it returns the next element data so and then we can do whatever we can. So what I have done is I just print out the value, and then what we have done is asset dot size. It returns the size of this. So since three elements are present, the size would be three. And then what we have done is we are trying to remove rocky smaller case rockies. Suppose if we try to run this code, it returns false. The reason behind is rockies is smaller case rockies is not present. The asset is asset. So it checks and tries to remove the smaller case rocket. So until the 
missing that the rake, small case rake is not present in as a data that's why it is false if suppose if we remove this thing it returns to since rake is present in the asset and then what we have done is we just print out the asset data so thanks for watching this video at the end of this video you would see channel icon here please click on that for subscribe to the channel